Hello YouTubers, this is Shem and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get root on the newest 4.3 firmware on your Sony Xperia Z1. And make sure you follow the video closely to not skip any steps. If you've never rooted a device before, make sure you check out my most commonly asked questions video and also and how to use flash tool video. Links to all the required files are provided in the video description, so make sure you download all of them before starting. This routing method was made possible by XDM Bernat and to support further developments please make sure you donate to him if you have some extra money. You can find the original thread in the video description. Before we get started make sure you back up all your user data such as pictures and music as, as this process requires a full wipe because we're gonna downgrade to the lower firmware version. First of all you'll need to download the flash tool software from the official website. So just go to flashtool.net and then click on the downloads and download and install the flash tool on your computer. This guide supports all four different models of the Sony Xperia Z1. To check your model number just go into settings then about phone and under model number you will find the version of your phone. Make sure that you download files for your model version only. Place all the downloaded FTF files in the inside the firmwares folder inside flash tool installation folder. Now open flash tool on your computer. If you have a 64-bit computer, op open the 64-bit version, otherwise use the standard flash tool. Once you have all the files ready for flashing, go to your phone settings, then about phone, and click on the build number a few times until the developer options are enabled. Then go back and go into developer options and allow USB debugging. Then power off your phone. And whilst when it's powered off, whilst holding the volume down button connected to the computer using the USB cable. If flash tool did not recognize your computer, that means you do not have the fast boot and flash mode drivers installed. So just go to the flash tool installation folder and to the drives directory and then install the drivers for flash mode and fast boot. If it did, now you're ready for flashing. Make sure that you only use the 0.53 firmware FTF provided in the video description as that's the one that was modified by NUT. This way you'll make sure not to run into any extra trouble while downgrading. Once you select the file just press flash to begin the flashing process. Once the flashing process finishes successfully just disconnect your phone from the computer and press power to power it on. Then go into the phone settings, about phone and build number and click on it a few times to, to allow the developer options. Then go to developer options and select USB debugging once again. So now that you're on 0.534 firmware you're finally ready to root your phone. We're gonna use a binary method as it's the safest one. So just download the, the file from the video description, then unpack it somewhere where you can easily find it and click on the runme.bat file. Now connect your powered on Sony Xperia Z1 with USB debugging enabled to the computer. Press 0 and then enter on the computer's keyboard and the routing process will, be will begin. Your phone will reboot during the process so don't worry about that. At this time you can verify that the routing process has completed successfully by installing the root checker basic app from the Play Store and verifying root access. So now you're ready to install dual recovery to your phone. So once you download it just unpack it somewhere you can easily find it and run install.bat file from inside dual recovery folder. On your computer keyboard select one and press enter. This will automatically start dual recovery installation process on your phone. During the process you'll have to grant your root access on your phone. To complete installation just press reboot now in the recovery. Now you are ready to transfer the flashable zip from the download section to your phone. Once again make sure that you are using the right download for your model version. Place it on the external SD card in your phone. If you do not have an external SD card, after the factory reset and wipe section which will come next, you can reboot your phone, 
transfer the file then and then still reboot to recovery once again. Now power off your device. When it's powered off, switch it on by pressing the power on button. Then wait for a vibration and tap the volume down key to enter recovery. Once inside the recovery, press on wipe and check Dalvi cache system, cache data and internal storage to do a complete wipe of the phone. Once the wipe is finished, also swipe right to do a factory reset. Once it's finished, press back, go to install one more time and search for the 0 0.290 firmware flash bool zip. Once you're located in phone memory, just select it and swipe to confirm the flash. The installation will take several minutes, so just be patient. When installation is complete, remember, do not press reboot now button. If you do, you'll have to start the whole process over again. Press the back button until you get to the main menu, then select reboot and power off. Now when your phone is powered off, press the volume down button and connect it to your computer using the USB cable. On your computer, open Flash Tool and select the .290 file to flash it to your phone. Flash the file and once the installation is complete, you should have the 4.3 firmware fully rooted and with dual recovery installed functioning on your phone. Once again, you can test root with Root Checker Basic. At the moment, this is the only method that will work on locked bootloader Sony Xperia Z1 with 4.3 firmware, and most likely there's never gonna be an automated one-click solution. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Xperia Z1 videos coming soon.